Dear the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, only to me. Today, the second Sunday of the Blessed Month, Mishra. Mishra is a basically the last month in the Coptic year, but we have another month coming at called the El Mensi, which is the Coptic calendar works a little different. It's fixed every month 30 days. For the year normally it's 365 or 366. For the five or six days, we call it the, those forgotten days. We call it the month of Mensa. But today, the second Sunday. We hear an amazing story actually today about a great man that his name is Levi. Levi basically was sitting at his job. And suddenly Jesus walking by and give him one simple word. Follow me. Follow me. When you think about it really, how this can happen? Can you imagine that you're sitting up by your job and somebody walking by and said, follow me, follow me. They call it the most magnetic word, or spiritual magnetic word that can attract anyone. When Jesus calls you, and by the way, Jesus calls you and I every day in our life. You are called to follow Christ. And he told him, follow me. This man actually invited that later on become Saint Matthew, the one who wrote the book of Saint Matthew. He did three important things. The Bible mentioned that in Luke chapter 5, verse 28, he said he left all. So when Jesus asks you to follow you today, there's actually a job you have to do. Number one, you must leave whatever really holding you back. Left all. You will see this word left all, by the way, or separation, very clear in the Bible from the beginning. When God called the man, uh, Abraham to follow him in Genesis chapter 12, the characteristic of the call itself to Abraham until one thing only. I want to separate, leave. Leave your country, leave your fathers, leave everything that separates you, takes you away from God, me. I want you to leave to follow me. And you see that the Samaritan woman, after she followed, she left all, she left the, 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 her parts and followed Christ. And when the, the Lord God called the disciple, the characteristic of the calling, when Jesus said, you follow me, is one thing. How to really separate or leave anything that will hinder you, that will hold you back. So number one, he left all. Number two, the Bible rose up. Rose up means taken in action. Rose up, the prodigal son, he rose up and went to his father. Taken in action. Sometimes we hear a lot, forgive me, Anne. but sometimes we don't have an action. So number one, he left all. Number two, he took an action. He said, look, I must take an action. And number three, actually, follow Christ. Become a follower of Christ. As I mentioned, all of us, as a Christian, we are a follower of Christ, by the way. Matter of fact, in the early church, they did not have the word Christian. For anybody just to become, become you know, to follow Christ, they call him the follower of Christ. Maybe the word Christian, I think, late in the first century, but in the beginning, they call him all the followers of Christ. Once you follow Christ, they, they call you not Christian, they call you the follower of Christ. For all of us who are called the follower of Christ. But let me ask you one thing. What do you think the main characteristic of also when God called you follow me? What exactly wants from you? What do you think? I think the most important thing is one thing, transformation. He wants us to change. I read a book actually called it The Biggest Miracle Habit in Christianity. What do you think the biggest miracle happened in Christianity every day? It's not just reading somebody dead and to come back again or somebody sick, but actually how Christ can transform you and me every day. This is the biggest miracle happen every day for those who are not Christian, how they become to change. And once they become Christian, they tell you one thing, I was blind and now I can see. In our church, when somebody not Christian become a Christian, you take baptism. The baptism actually called the spiritual enlightenment because truly he was blind and now we can change him. And today we see one of the most amazing and powerful story of transformation. This man that Levi is a tax collector, a sinner, far away from God, far away from God. As soon as he heard the message, follow me, and you and I were hearing the same message today, follow me, follow me. Try telling each one, follow me. He left all, rose up, and he changed your life to become a follower of Christ. It means become a new person, become a disciple of Christ. That's why when the Lord God told the disciple, go to all nations, make disciples, and baptize them in the name of the Father and Son and the Holy Spirit. 
But once you follow Christ, that means you become a follower of Christ. That means the transformation happened to your life. And I think all of us today wanted to think about, we all follower of Christ. We all come to church every Sunday. During the night right now, some of you come every night. But are you really transforming every day in your life? The most beautiful miracle that can happen in your life when you say, I was, I was, I had bad habits and now I'm a new person. It's like the blind man who said, you know what? I was blind and now I can see. This is a miracle. This is a miracle that can happen every day. That can change me and change every day. Transformation. But how to transform? You will find a beautiful verse actually in Romans chapter 12. It talks about transformation. Romans 12 said, and do not be confirmed to this world. Be careful the world around you right now. Take away from Christ. Sometimes all of us, forgive me, Annie, we can have so many issues, we'll debate about it, we can even, even, do not, what, what is the truth? What is the truth? But he said, do not change to this world here. But be transformed by the new one of your mind. So transformation can happen only in, my, in life, in my life, when you to me. When you and I can change our mind. The way we think, the way we think, this is a miracle for the Christian life. That this man, if I, he was transformed. He was a change. He become a new person. He become a disciple. He become a follower. He wrote about Christ. He wrote one of the gospel. This sinner, this man, yes. For one word only, follow me. For today, the message is very simple. But spiritual transformation, when you hear the message, how can he change? All of us in our life, in our home, in our relationship with others, we need to change. We need to change. I challenge you today during the liturgy, close your eyes together when you pray the liturgy, tell me what exactly I need to change. What is exactly holding me to open my heart to Christ? I need to be like Levi. Transformation is the biggest miracle that can happen in your life here. Don't think when you are sick and we pray that you're going to be, that's not the miracle. The miracle that how you and I can change every day. The biggest miracle in Christianity happening every day in so many countries that really far away from people from far away from God, when this people is transformed and change to become Christian, they become a follower of Christ, like you and I right now, a follower. May the Lord grant us a heart that can change, can transform. Let me read the verse again. You can read along with me. But do not be confirmed to this world, but be transformed by the new one of your mind, that you may prove what is what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. If you want to do what's good and acceptable before God, one thing has to happen, you must transform, you must change. May the Lord God grant us the beautiful heart that he gave it to Levi. How Levi changed and became a new person. May God grant us this heart here and glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Tene chi si